From high gas prices to long lines at CTAP, the U.S. Transportation Secretary says help is on the way, but it could take a while. In a King Live exclusive, South Bureau Chief Drew Mickelson sat down with Secretary Pete Buttigieg. Yeah, he asked what the Biden administration is doing to solve those problems. And Drew is joining us now live. Well, Madison and Steve, you know, Pete Buttigieg made a name for himself during the 2020 presidential campaign. He's now the first openly gay member uh, cabinet secretary. And there's some, though, who think he should run for president again, maybe even in 2024. We asked him about that. But first, we had to talk about the rising gas prices. Should we just get used to five bucks a gallon, though? Is that, is that the, new, the new normal? We've got to keep pushing these uh, oil and gas prices down. It's why you're seeing more action with the, uh, the oil reserve. Also, the president and the administration were calling attention to the fact that there's a bigger spread right now between the price of oil and the price of gas than normal. And that's going right into the pockets of, uh, of oil executives. So companies need to be accountable. While Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg tours the Northwest, touting the billions in federal funding coming to the region, he knows gas prices keep dominating the headlines. He blames oil companies and a reliance on foreign suppliers. One long-term solution, getting more electric cars on the road and making them more affordable. Can the grid handle it? We've heard that concern. We've heard about California. Can we handle everybody plugging their car in at night? Well, there's no way that we can run the, the cars of the future on the electrical system of the past. It's one of the reasons why the infrastructure law also includes a lot of improvements for our electrical grid. And the, the end result will be more efficient and more resilient. I know when you finish with us here or some point, point today, you're flying back to D.C. Are you flying out of SeaTac? I am, yeah. You're going to go through the TSA lines? Have you heard about the mess that we've seen at CTAC. Yeah, I, I saw the pictures, and this is one thing I want to emphasize, that uh, we are investing in airport terminals across the country, including improvements in spaces where passengers go through for security checkpoints, uh, what goes on in baggage claim, even really basic things like escalators, elevators, bathrooms. Right now we're improving the bathrooms at SeaTac. I know you can't talk politics, but people are going to be yelling at their TVs. I wish you would ask him. So I have to ask you, are you going to run for president again? Are you going to run in 20? 24, you're, you're the most visible transportation secretary in a long time, arguably the most visible member of the, the current administration. So as you can tell with all the work that we're doing, I've got my hands completely full. And uh, when you look at the responsibilities and, and the opportunities that the president has asked me and our department to take on, improving our, uh, our, our road system, fixing bridges, getting our airports, ports, rail, and everything else back up, up and running, that, that's enough to take 110% of my time and attention. And uh, I'm sure the politics will work themselves out in the future. So not much of an answer there, but you'll note he didn't say no. So we'll have to see what happens uh, in the next year or two. That's just a small little chunk of our interview. If you'd like to see the entire 15 minute sit down exclusive interview today, you can text the word Pete to 206-448-4545 and we'll send you a copy. Live in Olympia, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.